Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beardman. Today, we're going to be looking at a concept builder in physicsclassroom.com in the topic of measurements and units, and the title is Metric Estimations. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing. You're going to be making estimations of the mass, the volume, and the length of things using metric units. Since here in America, many of us are used to pounds and yards and feet and inches um, and gallons, um, this may be a challenge for you, but let's talk about it. So the first thing is just remember the metric prefixes we looked at in the last, uh, the last video. Um, I'm going to link that here. If you have not seen the last video, being able to do some, some little conversions and understanding how these, uh, work is going to be crucial. Just as a quick reminder, the three that you will be using are kilo, centi, and milli. And in the previous video, you learned how to convert those to the basic unit. All right, so in this one, you're going to need to just be able to look at a number and be able to get a sense of how big it is. So let's do a few things. So how big is a meter? Well, a meter is about the size of a stride. Okay, how far your step is. Um, it's a little bit of a big step for most people. Uh, a meter stick, many of you are familiar with meter sticks. Obviously, a meter stick is a meter. Okay, so if it asks, is the beach a meter away? Well, <laughs> assuming you're not at the beach, it is not a meter away. It's kilometers away, okay? Um, thousands of meters away. Or if it's asking for the size of a thumbtack and it says two Two meters, well, no, two meters, you would step much further than a thumbtack in one step, let alone two. All right, so that's about the size of a meter. Um, a centimeter, a good thing to measure is use your pinky finger and the width of the finger, the pinky finger, not the length, but the width. The width of your pinky finger is close to a centimeter. Okay, so if it says four centimeters, well, just imagine four little pinky widths and it's about that big. It gives you a ballpark. And that's what this is all about, understanding the ballpark of these numbers. The other options will be like six meters. You know, no, six meters isn't close to six centimeters. All right. Uh, so that's measuring length. Whenever you see meter at the end, it means you're measuring length. Then you'll see ones that are liters, centiliter, milliliter, kiloliter, etc. A, a liter, uh, you might think of a two liter bottle of soda. Now a lot of people drink one liter bottles of water, but a, a two liter, if you think of that as two liters and then you picture the thing, could I empty a two liter bottle into that? You may not be able to picture it perfectly, but you should be in the ballpark if it's anywhere near a liter, okay? If you're looking smaller than that, a milliliter is about 20 drops. So if 20 drops would fill this thing, if it was like emptied out, uh, that would be one milliliter. Okay, so just keep those in mind as you're trying to picture the size of these things, and that will help you a lot. Um, finally, a gr gram, that now we're talking about how much uh, mass it has. For now, I would just think of mass as weight. And imagine putting a paper clip into your hand. You now have a gram in your hand. If it wants to tell you, is this four grams? Well, imagine you have four gram, four paper clips in one hand and the object in the other, would they be about the same weight? Then they probably have the same mass, the same number of grams. So if it's close to one gram, use the idea of paper clips. If it's a lot bigger, then a kilogram might be reasonable. So a kilogram has a weight of about two pounds on earth. Pounds is actually a force, kilograms is the mass, but I don't want to get into that too much right now. So a kilogram has a weight of about two pounds on earth. Think about a medium sized cantaloupe. Okay, so if you wanted to picture a different kind of fruit, uh, if it's a smaller fruit than a cantaloupe, like a pear or something like that, then it would be less than one kilogram. Okay. Also, one liter of water. You've probably held a liter of water before or half of a two liter bottle. Okay. That would have a mass of about one kilogram. Okay. One liter of water is one kilogram of mass. Okay. So picture having one kilogram bottle of water in your hand. Picture this other object 
is it reasonable? Okay, if it's like an eight kilogram object, it's saying, is this object eight kilograms? Imagine having eight bottles of water in one hand, you're lifting that, maybe there's something tied to them so it's easy to hold, but you've got that much weight in one hand, will the other thing be about that much weight? Okay, then I'll give you a good way to piece that out. All three uh, levels have this same concept where you're just getting some numbers and you're trying to figure out um, which one is the closest. So now don't forget to take your milli and your centi and convert them into liters so you can kind of see how big they are. And you can do that using the method we showed in the last video, which I linked earlier. I'll also put a uh, thing at the end here. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you have some questions, put them in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. Um, and not just you, but the next person who has that same question. Anyways, um, I'll see you next time on the scientific adventures of Beard Man.